We're in the parking lot. Rusty Brown is heading to the movie theater, but he is not here to catch the latest blockbuster. One of the things that we're going to be looking for are uh, cars that are parked in a handicapped parking place illegally. Brown is one of Irving's citizens on patrol, an ICOP. He's a volunteer trained to help out police. Uh, we also are going to be looking for people that may be walking in between cars and uh, kind of testing handles, see if somebody's left their car unlocked. He started patrolling back in 1995, just a year after the program started. We used to be in our own private vehicles with magnetic signs. And before cell phones became highly available, the initial groups of us basically communicated with the police department via ham radio. He sees a lot as he watches over shoppers in crowded parking lots. We can kind of be watching uh, the parking lots from inside those towers and drivers on local highways. People will be a little bit under the influence and in driving, and uh, we'll get behind them, call it in, we'll follow them. Now, both Brown and Irving Police are getting some more help. The new graduates. I, Larry Boyd, I'm do solemnly swear or affirm. These are the newest ICOPs. They are graduating and will soon hit the streets. Congratulations. We want to help a lot within the football games, you know, uh, in Irving. A little, do a little bit more of uh, uh, emergencies, you know, to help uh, the community in uh, search and rescue, whatever, you know, possibility. I'm just looking forward to getting out there and really seeing what the city is about, you know, checking out my neighborhood and keeping it safe. So you'd have one vehicle in this whole row of handicap that's not handicapped, that's not a violation. And they get training in everything. One of the classes we observed focused on enforcement of handicapped parking laws. In addition, they completed the Citizens Police Academy to learn the ins and outs of the entire police department. I learned a lot about the city when I did the Citizens Police Academy. So, you know, they go through a lot of uh, the different departments within the police um, force and, and just the interaction with the police force and, and the community itself. You know, a lot of people think that it's just one department, you know, and that everyone is just a patrol officer, but I mean, you have ones dedicated to traffic, you know, drugs, um, uh, pretty much, uh, I mean, there's a lot more, you know, going on. Next, they will go on a couple ride-alongs with veteran I-cops like Brown. And when they're ready to go out on their own, Police Chief Larry Boyd will be happy to have them. They can become volunteers to, to take on tasks that will help keep our community safe, increase our presence out there, and, and become really a part of our strategy for reducing crime and increasing safety. The new ICOP share a number of reasons for wanting to join the force, but one was universal, a desire to give back. I want to become more involved in the community and uh, want to do a, a little more than just, you know, uh, volunteer here and there. It was a good opportunity for me to do some volunteer stuff. It is volunteer work, but Chief Boyd says it carries a lot of weight. You represent the Irving Police Department. That comes with a great deal of responsibility. Before their graduation, they got some advice from one of the most seasoned ICOPs. I told our new graduates to come in with enthusiasm and a willingness to give back. They can expect to stay busy. The volunteers put in a total of more than 6,000 hours of service last year. Some of that time is spent patrolling parking lots in their repurposed former police cars. Primary purpose is a deterrent, remind people that somebody is out there watching. Another of their successful campaigns helps to fight auto burglaries. We'll actually walk up to the car, look inside, and if we see anything that would be potentially inviting to a burglar, we'll actually write that up on the blue card and we'll either pass or fail the car and we'll leave them a note on the windshield. Irving police say the I-Cops are making a difference by taking on tasks that allow certified officers to focus on more serious crimes and ICOPs tell us they are proud to volunteer their time. I think every member uh, that you would ever talk to has said that they're very proud of what we do. Chris Blake for City Source.